Hey guys, Frontwoods Farmer, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're doing some welding today. I apologize, my phone's been broken for like three days, four or five days, I don't even know how long. Seems like forever. Uh, like I said, I wanted to do a little bit of welding today, show you what we got going on here, and uh, give you a little update. I hope you all watched the uh, Rogers Ohio flea video, flea, oh, flea market video. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was just a short video to keep you guys at bay. That's, uh, I did that. It's funny. I did that video and finished editing, uh, right before my phone broke. And then that night my phone phone breaks and I'm like, Oh, I knew I should have put it on YouTube, but we didn't. So you just got it. I think last night. So I want to show you the this deck. This is we're a doing. seven and a half foot rear discharge finish mower. We picked up that needed plated. So what we're going to do is we're going to plate all this steel, weld it all up, paint it, and get it all hooked up to the farm OM and work. So I didn't want to show you all the boring stuff, me just cutting out about 40 pieces of steel. So, I mean, this is how it's all plated. I mean, if you could see here, let me lift that up. Underneath, it's toast. And it's toast over here. So what we did was just made a bunch of patches. We're gonna weld it together solid so no brush kicks up and hurts anybody. This is our welder. This is a 252 CI ESOB, three-in-one welder, MIG stick TIG. I use it strictly as a MIG welder. Here's your weld chart to tell you if you got, say you got, you know, you're running 75, 25 gas, you know, thickness wire to thickness of steel, what your settings are. This is a really nice welder. Uh, we bought this years ago from a local welding shop and it works amazing. So we're gonna get this fired up and get the welding. Full cool box here. You didn't see this. This actually is a cool box. Right, got it all hooked up. Flip our switch. Sweet. Gas on. Where you go? I think got it all fired up. Wire seventy-five twenty-five gas. Uh, so you're gonna want to go over. I think it's about eighth inch. You know, turn it up if it's a little dirty. I don't really clean much. It's just meant to keep brush from hurting somebody. For some reason on my ESOP, see how these are all like 250, everything? This is 23, I think that is a misprint, meant 230. So we get a 230, 19.5 voltage. So this is our wire feed. That's how fast the wire comes out, go to 230. If you set these right to your thickness, this welder does an amazing job. 230, 19.5, that's it. Kind of what you're going for right here decent weld now i got this lifted up as you can see and that's that way we don't have to smash all this all down cut this all out it's a trick i learned weld the back push it down weld it into place and weld it all the way around it'll actually be Come more solid here. push it down you'll have a little belly in it push this down weld it all together and it's fine Okay, you guys can see it a little better. I had a hole there, I had to kind of fudge in there. Got our welds all set. Push this part down here and then all these patches, I'm pretty much gonna do the same on these front two and then the rest I won't have to push in. I'll show you when it's all finished up. This uh, finish mirror, I'm pretty sure it's an all over. Uh, Dark green down there. It could be a John Deere, but I'm thinking the era this thing's from, just looking at the way it's built, this is an Oliver. So it's a pretty nice finish mower. Um, and this is what I mean. I just got these real, real quick, just plated. Uh, the only thing you want to do when you're plating these, you don't, you don't need to spend four weeks plating this. Like I did this in like two hours, and you don't even, I don't even clean the metal nothing. I get it to bond. And uh, that way the brush ain't coming up through there. So really, you know, when the plate's about an eighth inch thick, that's all you need. The original deck ain't even that thick, you know, throw some welds down, get some plate on it. I'll paint it up and we'll see what it looks like when we're done.
So this is the finished product. Uh, looks pretty good. Got a little bit of paint on the tires, but not much. Whatever you do, do not ever use a spray can and get overspray all over the tires. That looks terrible. It never comes off. It's not good practice, but thanks for watching. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we're doing here. I wanted to give you a little bit more of this video, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Please hit the like, the subscribe, and share so I can keep doing more and more of these videos. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. It's not that hard. Thanks, guys.